In Office 365, sometimes it becomes necessary to turn on an extension in your malware, malware filter in order to be able to add a new type of file extension that make uh, contain viruses. So let's go ahead and see how you do that. Click on the admin button, which takes you to the admin center. Then once you're in the admin center, click on admin centers at the bottom left and click on exchange. Once you're in there, you will see the Exchange Admin Center, or the EAC. On the left-hand side, you'll see Protection, and at the top, you'll see Malware Filter. Let's go ahead and double-click on the default filter and click on Settings. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, actually not all the way to the bottom, but if we scroll about to the middle, then we see our different file types. And you can scroll through these different file types and you can see that these are the default ones that Microsoft puts in in order to filter for you. Let's go ahead and click plus and we see that Microsoft has added all different file types it can think of that may contain viruses. Let's go ahead and pick one in particular. We'll do the .ws and we can add additional ones if we want. Make sure that you see it show up in the line below. And if you change your mind, you can just click Remove. But I'm going to go ahead and click Add again. And I'll click OK. And now we've added a new file type into our file types of our malware filter. Go ahead and click Save when you're done. And now that will be applied. 